Hey friends, it's Melissa here. I just got back from Mommy and Me and I took, I took my salsa. I went to the Latin market yesterday and I made a whole huge batch of tomatillo salsa. I made it totally mild with no chilies at all because of the kids. And I took it to Mommy and Me and you guys loved it at Mommy and Me, go mommies. So I wanted to just very, very quickly recap the basics of how to make a tomatillo salsa at home. At Vallarta I bought, uh, I bought two and a half pounds of tomatillos. They were 50 cents a pound, so that was just a little over a dollar or a dollar and a quarter's worth of tomatillos. I bought one bunch of cilantro for 33 cents. I used a couple of onions. I ended up using one and a half onions, but you can use it to taste, and a few cloves of garlic that I already had and a lemon that I already had. I peeled the husks off of my tomatillos and rinsed them. I cut any big ones in half so they were approximately the same size, and I spread those on a cookie sheet with the quartered onions. I even left the peels on them and the garlic still in their peels threw that on a cookie sheet with a drizzle of grapeseed oil and roasted it at 400 degrees until it was cooked through. I would say mine took about 20 minutes, but just keep an eye on it. Once your tomatillos are slightly darkened and very soft, and they might even pop open in the oven, go ahead and take the skins off of your onions and the skins off of your garlic. Get your cilantro rinsed, ready, and cut the stems off of it. And in batches, I just use my blender here. From one cookie sheet worth of roasted vegetables, Veggies, I did two blenders worth of my salsa. And so in batches, I blended the onion, tomatillo, and garlic with the cilantro and a squeeze of lemon. I ended up using one whole lemon for all of those veggies and a little bit of salt. And I just whirled it in the blender until combined. I stored it in some handy jars in my refrigerator and I've taken one to my parents' house, one to mommy and me. I sat and ate one on my own with a bag of chips yesterday and I have one jar left. So that is my tip. You can definitely take your advice from someone more authentically Mexican than me since I am not someone like Pati Jinich, Rick Bayless, any of the like big Mexican chefs out there have their own methods. Tomatillo salsa is so easy, fresh, and wonderful. Add the peppers of your choice. If you want a spicy salsa, you can roast jalapenos or other chilies, throw it in the blender and you're done. It could not be easier and it is so much cheaper and fresher to make your own. Take care and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.